Hi Cancer, welcome to this reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, though you might find it resonates more if Cancer is your Moon or Rising Sign. Okay, so let's see. So some feminines could feel that they're waiting for a message, an apology, communication, wondering even about sending a message perhaps. Okay, we have the chariot, we've got Cancer energy there. I think overall, within their lives generally, the feminines that I'm tapping into today are feeling pretty good about themselves. They are feeling aligned. It's They've got a good balance between their heart space and it's almost like they're, I'm seeing the heart chakra and the, the root chakra. So it's almost like they are moving forward from a place of love, enjoyment, enthusiasm, moving towards their goals, or if they're not in that place right now, saying to themselves, okay, what do I need to do to get there? But overall, it feels like a good balance. Um, moving forward, looking over, saying, where's my divine masculine? What's going on with them? You know, what stage are they at within this journey? But also keeping themselves moving, feeling good about themselves. Yeah, the hermit, Virgo, lots of self-focus, lots of um, self-reflection. I'm hearing holding themselves accountable. So I'm speaking with divine feminines or tapping into divine feminine energy that is, um, I think maybe um, it feels mature. It's a divine feminine energy that understands it takes two to tango. It's a twin connection. There's a, a feminine and a masculine. It's not just one. It's not just all, you know, I'm doing this or my masculine is doing that. It's about both of us and, you know, our individual journeys, but also how these two separate journeys we're on align and become the twin flame journey together. So a feminine that's, that's looking at their side of things as well. Um, okay. We have the High Priestess reversed, Pisces. We've got three major arcana so far. Wow. Oh my goodness, four. And the Hanged Man in reverse, double Pisces there. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> um, I'm getting a message, channeled message. Now, I don't think this will be for everyone, but there's a feeling of feminines who were looking at the 3D, went within, did some inner work specifically focused on their higher self or looking at things from like an ascended perspective or the spiritual side of things, integrating this knowledge and moving what moving in the direction that objectively might seem like they're going back to something in the 3D. Um, so this could look like uh, feminines who had an initial understanding of something or a perception of something, then journeyed away from it, and now, from a place of greater wisdom, experience, insight, have realised, actually, I'm going back and I'm taking my initial stance here. It could be a feminine that stopped doing something in the 3D, who is now going back to it, but there's a feeling of... Um, yeah, going going back to something, but it doesn't feel like a step backwards. It feels like it's a step forwards, but we're revisiting something um, that maybe we thought we had left behind. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Yeah, see, we're looking forward. And this going back could be going back to a previously held thought, feeling, belief, perception around the divine masculine or themselves or the connection, or it could even be something outside of the connection. Okay, seven of pentacles and we have the two of pentacles. Okay, let's see. I do think there's frustration here around what seems like a lack of movement in the 3D from the Divine Masculine, as far as the Feminine is concerned. Um, it feels like a Feminine who's putting their effort and energy and action into themselves. Um, I think because they've come to a place on this journey where they've already put action towards the Masculine and they're saying, okay, well, the Masculine is either going to do something or not, but now it's time for me to um, prioritise myself or to put effort into something where I can see a payoff. Um, yeah, definitely some frustration but it feels sort of minimal. I think the overwhelming feeling is I'm progressing, but no doubt there is a bit of like, what's going on here? You know, there's a bit of that coming through. Okay, let's see what else. I'm hearing, where are you? 
Okay, four of pentacles. So it might feel to the feminine that the masculine is holding back. And in doing so, it's like, well, what are you doing? Where have you been? Who are you with? You know, what's going on in your life right now? Another way I can see this is that the feminine is um, feeling pretty good with how things are going right now. And they are being very selective with who they give their attention to, you know, who they open their heart to, who they let into their space. And they may even be looking at the masculine and saying, you know, I'm not sure right now. I'm not sure you're quite in the vibration that matches where I am. And I'm 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 protecting my space and my momentum here that I've got going and if I even need to shut you out a bit I will do that um yes I'm still focused on you I'm looking at you obviously I'm I'm in this connection with you and holding space for you but I'm you know I I have boundaries um and I will self-protect from you as well if I need to okay let's have a look let's see Oh, sorry, it's my phone. Okay, <laughs> so I just got a message and then we've got the King of Swords. Yeah, there is something here about, okay, where is this communication? Where is this interaction? Where is this message? And even if this is a feminine who is in communication with their masculine, it's like, well, when are we going to talk about that particular thing that we need to talk about or the, the subject we're avoiding? Um, or when are you going to come through with the information or the clarity that you said was coming? Um, cause this sword is down. It's, it's like, we're doing lots and lots of looking and looking at each other, seeing each other, recognizing each other, maybe even watching each other from a distance, but there's not, there's not direct communication. Um, and I do think there's a frustration, as I said, around this from the perspective of the feminine, who's been waiting maybe some time with the seven of pentacles to know what is actually going on. Um, there's a feeling that I'm getting of, I know lots of things intuitively and I'm confident about that. I don't doubt myself. Um, and the longer this journey goes on, the more confident I get in my ability to know what's going on and the more relaxed and comfortable I feel with that. But I would like still to discuss this in the 3D or to be able to talk about this. The Hanged Man with the Two of Pentacles. See the, yeah, see, look, the Empress, Divine Feminine, Taurus and Libra energy there. It feels quite undramatic, I will say. It feels like the Feminine Collective, Divine Feminine I'm, I'm tapping into today is calm, is very self-assured, quiet, observant, you know, pushing forward with their goals. Yes, there is a bit of irritation or frustration with the masculine around communication specifically. Um, but otherwise feeling very empowered, feeling very much in their in their zone, feeling good about things. Um, being happy, you know, being embodying, embracing, being the divine feminine, even if the divine masculine is not necessarily by their side in the 3D. Um, and, and quite protective of the fact that they've got themselves into this really lovely space. Let's look at this two of pentacles. Okay, the world reversed. Can we just get one more card, please? Okay, I'm seeing the seven of cups. So the divine feminine has choices and for some reason I wanted to say divine masculine so I don't know if it's the divine feminine wondering does my divine masculine have choices or in other cases if it's the, the divine feminine and they're asking themselves okay what do I do which which door do I close here um so now for some now this is definitely not going to be everyone but maybe just a small handful of divine feminines watching this um they might actually, or if, if you resonate with the Divine Feminine, you might actually be considering stepping away from this Twin Flame journey in the sense of, it is what it is, I release it, um, I'm not pushing against any feelings I have, but I'm not waiting for anything, I don't have any expectations, and I'm not intending to get into union beyond anything that I already feel, have or experience with my Divine Masculine and I'm very open to pursuing a different connection in the 3D. Um, now, as I said, that's obviously not going to be for everyone but I do feel that's a message for at least like maybe I'm hearing one to three. So it could just be three Divine Feminines um, who are saying, you know, I've reached this place where I feel like I'm the Divine Feminine, that's good enough for me, uh, I'm ready to move forward. Um, 
Okay, yeah, it feels very, very calm. Let's have a look at this King of Swords. Um, divine Feminine's watching. I do think you're being watched by um, <clears throat> your Divine Masculine, whether it's in the 3D or just purely energetically. But I also think you're watching them. Yeah, the Four, Aries, Aquarius, the Emperor, the Divine Masculine, more Aries, and the Page of Pentacles. Absolutely, the Masculine is watching. They want to make some sort of an offer. Um, they too, I'm, I'm interested to get to their side um, in a moment because they too are showing up as the Emperor, the Divine Masculine. So look, we've got Feminine, Masculine, Emperor, Empress, but um, showing up in the upright, showing up as if to say, I too am now feeling um, like the embodied Divine Masculine and I'm feeling comfortable in this position. I'm feeling good. I'm ready for a new beginning. Okay. So let's clear this while, I wish I had enough scoop them up, but I have now. So <laughs> I'll keep them out, but I'll put them to one side and then we'll go into what's going on um, with the masculine. Okay, so Spirit, can you show us what is going on, please? The Hermit, Virgo, again, look, masculine, mirroring the feminine, having been, having been doing, does that make sense? I don't know, in a reflection, um, having been, oh my gosh, they've been focusing on themselves, holding themselves accountable also, looking at uh, the role they have played, the role that they would like to play. Okay, what's going on please from the perspective of the Divine Masculine here? Ace of Swords reverse, so not communicating something they would like to communicate. Just to go back to the Divine Feminine, it felt very like I said, undramatic, uncomplicated, because I feel that the feminine has been looking within, seeing any changes they want to make. But I also feel that the feminine I'm, I'm channeling today has already made the changes. It's like, I've been there, done that. I've really moved forward. It just feels very calm. Um, and I, of course, I don't think it always felt that way, but yeah, it does right now. Okay, so Divine Masculine, their experience of things. Three of coins reversed. Ooh, nine of coins reversed. Whoops. And the moon in reverse, Pisces. With the eight of pentacles. Four of swords. Yeah. Oh, the chariot's here as well. Cancer, and we have the king of swords. Yes, that was the divine masculine's energy. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Lots of pentacles, big concern on where things are in the 3D. I think there's, I'm feeling um, more of an emphasis from the masculine actually than the feminine today on how do we move this forward in the 3D? Where do, the, do things stand in the 3D? If we're not connected, how do we reconnect? So I think there's more of a feeling of impatience from the masculine today of I want to see movement in a, in a tangible, concrete way. Um, I think there is a little bit more of a hang up on the masculine side in terms of releasing whatever they don't want to take forward. It's almost like this masculine is focused on a goal, they're moving forward, but I'm seeing I'm seeing rope. Like imagine if you're riding a horse and and but you've got ropes tied around your waist that are dragging behind you with like bits and pieces of stuff that you don't want. You know, you've not cut the rope away. You sort of you're trying to, to move forward on your mission and get to where you're going, but you're dragging all this stuff, this baggage behind you. I think that's what's going on a bit with the masculine right now with this nine of coins um, reversed. I do think this is a masculine that's been quiet, self-reflective. It's been a very helpful, useful period of reflection. You know, the lamb's third eye is, is lit up here. So they've had their realizations, again, realized ways in which they haven't been as much of a team player as they would like. Um, made any changes that they have needed to make around you know why why was my team player what was i scared of or was it ego or um were there things i was needing but wasn't getting you know whatever it is they've done all of that already and they're trying to move forward this is the only thing though um ace of swords reverse we're not talking or i've not shared something with you some kind of epiphany i want to share with you and again eight of coins i want to put effort in in the 3D, I want this to move forward. For example, I want us to message each other when we wake up in the morning. I want to see how your day's been at the end of the day. I want to meet for coffee at lunch. I, you know, whatever it is, I want tangible 3D movement and they're trying to make it happen. But I think one of the things they need to do is look at, you know, what's going on behind them. What are they bringing with them that cannot come into, it cannot come forward um, 
into this connection or it cannot move forward with them as this connection developed in a 3D sense. Um, the Moon Reverse, King of Swords. This is a masculine that wants to say the things that the feminine wants to hear. So if the masculine has some kind of answer or insight or, um, I don't know, just some information and the feminine's feeling frustrated, like, well, where is it then? The masculine's also feeling like, yeah, it's here and I want to, I want to um, deliver this to you. Okay, what's going on with this nine of coins reversed, please? It's interesting that both have the chariot, uh, masculine and feminine. So again, it's like we've been on, we're in this twin flame connection and journey together. We've both almost been on parallel paths while we've focused on ourselves, looked at ourselves in the mirrors and all of that. But now we're aligning again. Ten of cups. Hmm. Ten of coins reversed, the queen of cups. That's exactly it. I'm trying to move forward towards my emotional fulfillment and happiness, but I'm bringing a bunch of stuff with me that's not making me happy purely because it's already manifested. So this could look like a karmic, you know, a karmic situation that's dragging. And while they're trying to make moves to get closer to the feminine, they've not closed that off yet or something. Or it could be a work situation or finances or whatever, you know, um, I'm just dragging these issues behind me. I need to actually properly close these out and deal with these first but it's like they're rushing forward trying to get into the um you know the the loving embrace of the divine feminine and even if that's because energetically they can feel the feminine has pulled back a bit and is focusing that energy on themselves it's like no i want back i want back into your space back into your energy i think the feminine feels that which is why there was that four of pentacles um wherever it's gone oh right here uh, saying, yeah, look, I, I'm looking at you, I'm looking over at you, I see you, I know what you're wanting, but, um, you know, if I let you back into this energy, what is that going to look like? Because I'm in a very good place and I need to know you're, you're in a similar place and, and you're sort of, <laughs> I know it sounds cold and harsh, but like, are you bringing something to the table as well? Just because I think in the past the feminine has, has sort of bent over backwards and the masculine took it for granted, probably, you know, at times unintentionally, but the feminine's not willing to do that anymore. And I think the masculine has got a lot to bring, but they're bringing something as well that shouldn't be brought with them. Um, I also think it's interesting how for the feminine, the chariot came out first. For the masculine, it's coming out, still coming out, but sort of later on in the spread. Again, it's a feeling of the feminine being slightly ahead with having freed up their chariot from any baggage, you know, thrown out the luggage they don't need, they're lighter, they're moving more swiftly. Anything that wasn't serving them, they've changed, whether it was a mindset, attitude, beliefs, people they've cut out, situations, connections, habits. Um, and as I said, interestingly, in doing this, realizing that actually they're, they're sort of almost going back to something they believed or felt or knew before. Um, I don't really know what that means. That, I mean, that, that will look differently for every feminine, but it feels like a return to something that they thought was done, but um, or that they, a belief, a, pers a perspective they didn't align with anymore that's now come back around and feels right for them. So, right, well, let's see then. The feminine wants to hear from the masculine. The masculine wants to share something with the feminine. Is it going to happen? Okay, that's a lot. I'm not taking all of those. Queen of Wands, the Hermit reversed, Virgo again, and the Emperor, the Divine Masculine. Wow. Aries energy. Hmm. Well, that's very encouraging. I mean, the King of Swords is upright. The sword is also upright in this um, depiction. The Hermit's reversed, coming out of Hermit mode. The Masculine, as I said before, is saying, I'm also aligning with this energy of Divine Masculine and feeling good about it. Um, looking at the Feminine as being very attractive, very confident, making moves, very desirable, very tempting. So all signs that seem very positive. Um, I wouldn't say this is absolute confirmation that yes, the masculine is about to step up and say something, but um, everything suggests that's the path they're on. Um, I don't know why though. I don't know why I'm not fully convinced. I don't want to say yes 
They're going to say this right now, even though there's nothing to suggest they won't. Um, let's see what fell on the floor. Uh, judgment reversed, King of Wands. The world, King of Pentacles reversed. Okay, I think this is why. This, this nine of coins that feels so pivotal in this particular spread, I think this is why they've got to end whatever this is that's manifested in the 3D first. Um, it looks very close with the world being upright, but they do have to, you know, make this, this decision first. So I think for some feminines, you know, the masculine may decide, right, I'm coming forward now, I'll close out this other thing after, or they may close this other thing out first. Um, but I don't, I don't feel any obstacles, I don't feel any doubt. When I say obstacles in terms of like fear or procrastination, um, I think the obstacle is this practical thing. Okay, so um, let me know if this resonates with your energy, whether you're the feminine or the masculine. I almost feel like this hasn't been a very exciting reading, so I apologize, but it's just because both masculine and feminine are in that energy and embracing it and feeling good and feeling clear. So I think that's coming across in the reading and I, you know, I'm not gonna make drama where there isn't any. <laughs> But I apologise if you're like, well, that was boring. I don't know. Maybe it's not because maybe it's confirming what you're experiencing and that's exciting. I don't know. But it just, I think maybe not boring, just calm, straightforward, uncomplicated. But it feel, I'm very aware that this feeling of, you know, this straightforward, calm energy, it has not been easy to get to this place. All of the ups, downs, introspection, projection, angst, you know, from both sides, all of that. That's that's something that I think this feminine and this masculine have already been through. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it here then, I guess. But um, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts, please. I'd be curious to know how you feel about this reading. Um, and uh, I will be back probably tomorrow, actually, with another reading. So I will see you then. Okay, bye.